Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Louis read this scripture in his sermon last Sunday. And so this week I've been looking at it, praying about it, allowing it to um, be my conversation with God this week. Uh, allowing curiosity to to lead me to um, dig in. And as I've been reading uh, the passage, um, Moses is basically called by God to, to tell Joshua, you know, you're going to be leading the people to the promise and to, to be strong and courageous. And it's all about promises and, and, and receiving and inheriting the promise God has given Israel. And how opposition is going to stand in their way sometimes. And so I've been thinking about that. And I've been thinking about how um, the hard thing for me is to know what God's called me to. What are the promises that God's leading me to? And so this week I've been thinking about that and trying to reflect on what has God called me to? God's called me to be a, a father, a friend, a husband, um, a worshiper to lead worshipers, um, and all those things. Uh, there's going to be opposition. There's going to be circumstances that arise. And God calls me to be strong and courageous. And it's hard when you're in the middle of those things to not um, get distracted and lose sight of the, the promise. And so I'm not sure what the promise is for you. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably similar as far as just taking care of those around you. And... Uh, the blessings that God has for you. But yeah, this has been an encouraging scripture and I wanted to encourage you with it today. Be strong and courageous and pursue the things that God has promised you and don't let fear stand in your way. So hope that's encouraging to you and I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'm praying for you and God bless.